Heckler & Co. haven't made a polymer striker fired gun in over 20 years. They call their first polymer striker fired gun the VP70, or the inspiration for the high point if you want to be a jerk about it. And honestly, it was pretty horrible. Fast forward to 2014 and now we have the VP9. The VP9 is what you get when you stand back and watch all of the overly eager guys hit on the cute girl standing alone in a corner. You listen and learn from their strikeouts. Where the P30's ergonomics felt like a plush tempur mattress that contours around your hand, the VP9 feels like it's surgically attached like those aliens from Battle LA. Man, that was such an underrated movie. There's something very fast and agile about this gun. The trigger is quick and deliberate, meaning if you can shoot fast, this gun will shoot faster. It has a Car PM9 smooth-like take-up with a Glock-like reset with less bounce and a solid wall and clean break. What more can you ask for? This isn't an ultra-light recoiling gun, but it's very manageable for a first-time shooter. The recoil impulse is so steady and predictable that after a couple of magazines, the recoil fades to the back and you don't even notice it anymore. At the moment, the HK VP9 is my favorite handgun. Sure, its capacity to the size ratio blows, but it fell just short of being a deal breaker. But the rest of the gun is so awesome, you just accept the capacity shortcomings and continue to shoot this thing like you stole it. 